Hey, what's going on guys? John Shea here. And in this video, what I'm going to be doing is covering the website auditor tool as part of the SEO power suite package of SEO. Um, uh, I guess their SEO tools, I guess you could say they've got a whole series of tools here as part of the SEO power suite. And um, basically what I wanted to do is walk you through the landing page and then I'm going to give you a demo of how it works, uh, what some of the pros and cons are and we'll just go from there. Again, another thing to keep an eye out for is depending on where you're watching this, it may be on the same page or on YouTube, wherever you're watching this video. I'm also going to have videos for the other softwares, the rank tracker, the SEO spyglass and the link assistant tool. So let's go through um, some of the features of the website auditor. Um, bear with me. This might be a little bit slow because I'm actually remoted into a virtual private server. Um, I actually load SEO power suite onto a virtual private server so I can remotely access it from anywhere since it is not a cloud based software. Um, again, that's actually one thing right off the bat that I find somewhat as a disadvantage, but in some ways it can be a good thing. Um, so basically what they do is they'll do a technical audit of a website. They'll find all kinds of different issues, anything from like duplicate content, poor mobile usability, internal linking issues, uh, thin content, um, and everything that, that, you know, that they find, they'll actually give you a report. You can pull it up in a PDF and they'll tell you exactly what the error means and how to actually fix it. Um, they give you some other things here as well. Like you can generate a robots TXT or a site map if you need. Um, they give you a very in-depth idea of like what's going on in terms of like title tags, H1, H2, uh, body content, title links, all the different things that, you know, could be problematic, meta tags, all this stuff that you're really going to need for um, many, many pages on your website. You're just really having this stuff all set up properly. So that's kind of a basic rundown. Um, I've actually got the software already open, so let's dive in there. Basically, what you do is once you're loaded in, you have the capability of switching between different projects so you can see other websites I've run the audit for. And I use this tool all the time. Um, it, it is probably one of the most awesome SEO tools I've ever used. Um, one of the great things about it is they do have um, an algorithm subscription that you can subscribe to. You can see here I haven't subscribed for quite some time. It's over 160 days ago, but you can still continue to use the tool and run audits. And you don't necessarily need to have you know the paying monthly updates to be able to use the software in full. So basically what you would do is you'd go to file, you'd do new project. And again, you can do some stuff where you could like save into their SEO power suite cloud, or you can pull stuff from Dropbox uh, shared links. So there is some cloud functionality. And what you'll do is do new project. And basically you'll have the capability of throwing in a website and this will run generally depending on the type of website, how big it is, it could take a little bit of time. But once that's done, you're basically going to get back this audit here. And this is exactly what they give you. So you have a site audit and it gives you all this breakdown of all the different things like are 404 pages set up correctly. Is there an XML site map? Um, are there any redirects? Um, is there anything with like the uh, rel canonical tag? And it kind of goes through all these different things. And most of the stuff I like to look at are broken links, um, images that have issues such as like maybe empty alt text here. You can see in this particular site, there's over 130 images that are missing. That is a factor. You could be adding a keyword in and then on page, this is probably the biggest area and things like empty title tags or duplicate title tags, um, title tags that are too long, which means they're going to get cut off by what Google is going to display in the index, uh, empty meta description. So that's the description field that shows beneath a search result in, in this case, this particular site has 37 of them that are just empty that completely are not utilizing that field. Um, duplicates and some that are too long. So you can easily go in and review any of these. I can click in and it's going to tell you like, you know, how much of a factor this is. Like, is this something that's really bad or is it something that's just kind of a warning? Is it maybe more of an informational? Like if I go to the REL canonical, it'll say this is kind of more informational. So not so much a problem. And, um, once you run this report, um, you can even drill down into like specific pages. So you can see all the pages that it found, whether or not it was able to get to them, how many links they have, the word counts on those pages. And you can really drill down and start looking at specifics. So if I took this random page here, I could then go to the on page tab and just start drilling through and getting an idea of like what needs to be done. And you can see all of the different um, metrics um, for all this different stuff. And You've also got like open graph and structured data markup, which is important for SEO. Um, links, technical factors, 
social media for those pages. You can go back and check this separately as part of the audit and even get traffic metrics in some cases if you link this stuff up to Google Analytics. Um, so beyond that, if you go into content analysis, you can actually drill in. You could pick a specific page, maybe like a really good blog post you were trying to rank, and you can get a full analysis for that page. So this is really powerful. Um, you know, I don't have any examples on this site. Let's just say, say we pick um, this one here, the get to know us. I could do next and I could say, you know, let's just say my keyword is get to know us. It's not really a great example, but and we'll say, yeah, we want it on Google and this will come back and it's going to run like a single page audit of that page. Um, so it's a really great tool for doing really specific analysis as well as like a full site analysis. And it's going to give recommendations based on that. So usually this stuff doesn't take too long if I'm going to do a single page. That's why I figured I'd do it in the demo. Doing the entire site audit can take anywhere from, you know, five minutes to potentially hours if the site is a really, really large site. The best thing about this tool though is that you have the capability of doing some really custom stuff with reporting. Um, of course here they're always reminding you of the search algorithm updates so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Let me see if this came back. Um, if I want to cancel that. So I don't know why that didn't come back. I guess um, I might have to do some more customization but you kind of get the idea of what the tool is ultimately going to provide. It's really going to be the same stuff you saw in the main site structure. And then um, you have some other stuff you can look at as well, like domain strength. Um, you can get like this kind of basic report, like how old it is, the Alexa rank, things like that. And let me show you the reporting. This is absolutely the best part of this tool. So if you decide to go with the enterprise version, you have the capability of actually saving everything in an external PDF. If you have the pro version, you can save the files, which means you'll be able to like, if I'm in the tool, I can do a save of the project and reopen that project file, but I won't be able to export anything and like send it to my client or anything like that. So I was able to, um, you know, at one point I was working with a marketing agency, I was able to custom like brand it to their agency. So you could print this report or um, export a PDF if you have the enterprise version, it would have your own branding on it. And it will have basically a full summary of everything going on. So this is a summary version of the report. You can do a detailed version, which will have the same summary and then it has a very specific detailed version of everything so you could drill down read all the problems you know what everything is in terms of what you get here and then you've also got that domain strength which I just showed you and you've also got what you can do is custom reports I made one just called SEO audit and the reason this is so cool is let me show you how this works you actually have like this almost um, it's not really a drag and drop builder but you kind of have all the different factors just broken down. So let's say in the summary, I don't want to maybe, you know, maybe I want to show them only something very specific. So I can come over here on the right and I can actually uncheck certain things. So maybe I don't want to show people anything to do with like, um, you know, here I've already taken out some, I took out stuff with like long redirect chains or the REL canonical um, HTTP, HTTPS site versions. I took some of that stuff out. So you can customize any of this. So I could turn this back on if I want and have that show up in the report, or I can choose not to, not to show this. This, in my opinion, makes this audit tool probably the best audit tool out there. A lot of the comparable tools like SEM Rush, um, they're so literal that I've actually talked to the SEM Rush team and they said, there is no way you can actually get a report to say 100% because the tool will just find specific issues that are almost impossible to fix in some cases. and. Um, that's one of the reasons I love this because if there's something on here that, you know, maybe you know that it's not really a big deal, like there's certain pages or something specific that might be raising a red flag, but it's not really a huge critical issue and you don't want to show that to a client, you can actually uncheck that from the summary here and it won't show up. So the tool is extremely powerful. Um, I even use this to resell um, doing some of these audits for, for, um, for people like on a marketplace where I make some money. I charge like five, 10 bucks just to run the report really quick and I'll send it over. So it's really awesome for doing white label. Um, if you're gonna do this for other people as a service, doing it for your own clients, your own websites, anything like that. Again, um, this is the SEO Power Suite uh, website auditor. So I've honestly found I've made more than enough my money's back from simply just offering the audits to other people, other marketing clients or people that need this in the SEO space just this one tool alone has basically paid for my SEO PowerSuite membership. Uh, so again, 
Another thing to keep in mind, um, if you're watching this around December of 2016, they are running a promotion for about three days where you're going to be able to get a significant discount um, on the first day of the promotion. So I will be sending that out to some of my followers. But even regardless, if you buy this at full price, I, I've definitely made my money's worth um, using just this one tool alone in the package. So check out some of the other videos and I'll show you the full SEO PowerSuite tool set and you'll be able to judge if this is something you really want to pick up for your arsenal.